goal records were broken, not many standout stars, and that's what you call no preseason and week one in the NFL. This is Spiking the Pigskin Podcast. Tony Jigsaw Cancelo brought the Jigsaw back just specifically for fantasy football season. Make sure you're getting locked into WinDailySports.com. Make sure you're using that code word, HEAT, H-E-A-T, where we still have the prices slashed. Listen, scratch and say, and I say that, it's like a roulette wheel. Go to the site, type in that code word, HEAT, and you never know what you're going to get. And again, ladies out there, listen, what better way to help your husband out football season is buying them a sports betting membership. They will love you forever and give you every day of the week as long as you give them Sundays. And you can get a full year, a full year for $149. That's 12 months, 12 months for $149. So make sure you get signed up today. Code Word Heat, we're going to get right into the waivers, right into what happened and why you don't want to overreact in certain situations. Let's go right to the quarterback position. And a guy, obviously, if you've listened to me over the last 10 years in the world of fantasy football. You know, guy hasn't been around for 10 years, but you know, I love me some Baker Mayfield. Love me some Baker. I love the moxie. I love the attitude. I love the energy. And now he's comfortable. He got paid in the offseason, rightfully so. Goes 289 for four touchdowns. He's actually the number two quarterback in all of fantasy after week one, 24-30. I'm not overreacting here. I'm looking at a product where last year, he had 14 games of 30 or more attempts, which means they're doing exactly what they did last year, which is great for fantasy owners, and they are pass-first offense. We'll get to the running back situation later. And then we go to New Orleans with Derek Carr. A little different opinion, you know, for me specifically. I know a lot of people are saying, well, he played Carolina and they stink, but he only missed four passes and he looked extremely efficient. And by the way, he only had three games of three touchdowns or more last year. And guess what? The first one didn't start the week 14. So what does that say to me? He got comfortable towards the end of last year. It spewed over into this year. Didn't even get Chris Olave the ball as much as obviously we'd like to. And it showed By the way, my number one wide receiver two pick of the draft. I kept telling everybody, Rashid Shahid, they're going to do a ton with him. And what did they do? What did they do? They ran him everywhere. He was coming out of the backfield. He was going in the flat. Man, this dude is all over. He's going to be their long threat. And he's going to be a very important reason why I think Derek Carr absolutely should be on a roster. Do not overlook his statistics because he played the Carolina Panthers. I can tell you right now, it's not your imagination. Now let's bring us to Seattle and Geno Smith. A Geno Smith, by the way, that I told everybody at 5,500 in DFS, he was one of my favorite favorite plays this year 171 and a touchdown but he also rushed for 30 yards and a touchdown that is huge but the thing about Geno is he has so many weapons in that Seattle offense he had 25 attempts as well as four attempts on the ground listen if you're gonna get those 30 attempts combined from Geno Smith and you have a dynamic playmaking backfield and wide receiving core you have to go all in on this guy you could see he is very comfortable and he has weapons all over this Seattle Seattle team is going to put up some sneaky points, and Geno Smith is a guy that you want to have on your roster. Now, running backs, only a couple of them. And again, I hate to keep saying this, but another guy that I talked about and I drafted in the serious host league, okay, is Alexander Madison, the Las Vegas Raiders. I am not all in on Zamir White. Now, Madison didn't get the rock a ton on the ground, but he got the six targets and the four for 43 with the touchdown. He's going to be used a ton in an offense that, again, has a quarterback with a very lackluster arm. So what does that mean? That means a lot of flat passes, a lot of screen passes, and a lot of love for Alexander Madison. I do think he it's going to be a 50-50 split, and I really like Madison's potential as a guy on your bench, a spot starter, and if, and if they tend to lean a certain way, I think it could be Madison. And I'm going to tell you what, you better keep an eye on that running back situation out there in Tampa Bay, because my man Bucky Irving looks like the real deal. I know it was only one game, but I'm not even talking about his actual numbers. I'm talking about the eye test, the speed, the athleticism, the electricity, the dynamic playmaking ability that, by the way, Zamir White has zero of, okay? Zero. 
He showed us nothing. And we just talked about an offense with Chris Godwin, who looks reborn. Mike Evans, who looks like he still is not going to take a backseat this year. And you still have a guy in Baker Mayfield that's able to throw the rock and get out of bad situations in the pocket. Bucky Irving is going to be that guy. And it's a telltale sign of why I keep telling people in the offseason that you have to listen to coach speak. And if you listen to Todd Bowles, he was never committed on who his number one running back was going to be. He kept saying, we're going to see, we're going to go in with Rashad White, but we'll see how it all plays out. That showed me that he thought this was going to happen. And when you're Zamir White and you go 15 for 31 and Bucky Irving goes 9 for 62, that's a big difference. Oh, and by the way, also had two receptions for 14 yards, and we know to like throwing in the back. And, and Rashad White had six targets. And what does that mean? Maybe we're seeing a role reversal, just like I just mentioned above with Alexander Madison and Zamir White. Maybe we have the opposite happen here with Bucky Irving and Rashad White to go the other way. So that is definitely something to keep your eye on. But I can tell you right now that I would be all over Bucky Irving on the waiver wire this week if he's not on a roster and two more i have for you one wide receiver and one tight end the tight end i'm going to continue to back is zach Ertz in washington they are still looking for that wide receiver number two for Jaden daniels and i'm telling you right now even though he only caught three for 38 was targeted four times again guess what that was the most targets on the team even with scary terry out there so they're going to establish more and more of zach Ertz based on that game script and he's a guy sitting out there especially when you're talking about you know people that overdrafted tight ends this year obviously they did if they did they didn't listen to us but what I will say is, when you have guys like Isaiah Likely, Colby Parkinson, uh, Foster Moreau, these guys that are getting clocked, Zach Ertz may not score every week, but he's going to get you the most targets that you can expect for a guy off the waiver wire. So I would run to get Zach Ertz if you didn't draft him. I drafted him in all my leagues because I knew this was going to happen. And by the way, make sure you get locked into WindailySports.com. Use that code word HEAT. All this information right now is free, but it's going to go away. Okay, it's going to go away for free because guess what at the end of the day we all put a lot of work into this okay in the world of the internet where people steal information and use others information for their own credit and don't give you any kind of credibility that's what we do and unfortunately when you want to do that you have to pay a little bit of a price but that's why we're offering this first week deal here of at least at a minimum 50 percent some people getting 80 percent some people get 75 percent some people are getting four months for the price of three. Listen, you can get $75 right now for four months. Take it all through football. And I'm telling you right now that you will win at least that money back, at least at a minimum, to get you the next three months or possibly just buy out the rest of the year so you can hit with us in baseball, basketball, hockey, NASCAR, PGA. Listen, the proof is there. This is no bullshit. The proof is there. So make sure you get locked in. Use that code word HEAT, H-E-A-T. And by the way, before I get to the last pick, by the way, I will be the best assistant that you have ever. I'm going to tell you that right now. Whether it be Discord chats, whether it be Zoom calls, whether it be, hey, Tony, how do I get to this page? Hey, Tony, how do I get to this deal? Hey, Tony, how do you get that 50% live profit boost? Hey, how do you get that SGP insurance? How do you get this? Where do you get that deal? How come I didn't get my instant money? I'm telling you right now, that's why you want to sign up because then you get me as your guy. Just throwing it out there. You get Jigsaw for the entire length of your membership. Now, let me get to the last guy here who I am going to go out on a limb and give you one of my crazy jigsaw takes. I don't think it's crazy. You may think it's crazy. But there was a guy that I continued to talk about in the offseason. A guy that I won tremendous amounts of money on for any time touchdowns because he was not even thought of. A guy I won a lot of DFS tickets last year with because even Sticks was like, dude, how are you pulling this guy out of the hat every single time to where Sticks start going up on him? Okay, make sure you listen to Sticks Pod as well. First and Sticks, another great DFS killer pod for all your cashing tickets there in FanDuel and DraftKings. But I saw the situation play out, and it's in Arizona. And I am telling you, if you do not roster Greg Dortch, and he's available in your league, you are going to be passed by with an absolute gem. Now, I want you to take all these things into consideration. Look at the size of Greg Dortch. Look at the speed of Greg Dortch. Look at the playmaking ability of Greg Dortch. And look at his competition. Trey McBride, tight end. I get it. Stud. Okay. But still, 
not the same position. Marvin Harrison Jr., he is going to have his good and bad. He dropped multiple passes, ran a wrong route, and Kyler Murray looked extremely ticked off to the point he didn't want to throw to him anymore. Now, I know that can't be 100% true, but what I'm saying is his eyes are going to gravitate somewhere else, and they gravitated towards the Ever consistent, caught all of his targets, and that is Greg Dortz. This guy goes across the middle. They can throw him in the backfield. Remember, no more Rondell Ward, no more Hollywood Brown. Those guys made a living in this offense by being a guy like Greg Dortz, and they absolutely buried Greg Dortz, and now Greg Dortz is a number two wide receiver, essentially could be the number one option. Hear me out. The number one option option on this team going forward and in a team with Kyler Murray James Connor okay if Trey Benson gets some rock Trey McBride okay Marvin Harrison Jr this is the guy I'm telling you he is going to be a PPR monster remember Puka Nakua last year I'm not saying he's going to put up Puka Nakua numbers and by the way that sucks about that injury of Puka Nakua but we'll get into that on the next pod when we talk about what's the the outlook of week two but looking at Greg Dortz, this is the guy that nobody really talked about, but he could essentially finish in the top 20 easily at wide receiver. And he's a guy that was sitting on a waiver wire in 70 to 80% of all fantasy leagues. Tony Jigsaw Cotillo spiking the pigskin. I love doing this podcast. I've loved the interaction. I want to thank everybody, number one, who has subscribed. Number two, who has bought a membership based off this pod. I've had multiple people email me tony at windailysports.com and say hey can we talk through email yes they purchased a membership and i talk with them every single day and they are extremely happy i want to thank them uh personally okay because i do a lot of this all day long i'm studying i'm doing the research along with everybody at wind daily so it's it's really nice to know that it does hold value to our subscribers. You can catch me this week. I'll be on Sirius from 6 to 8 p.m. So make sure you're checking out that show, me and uh, Cena Jod. And also, if you're listening to this pod right now, I will be on v tonight, 12.15 Eastern AM with my man, cashing in with Joe Cerullo. And we're going to talk some fantasy, some DFS, and some props. So as always, make sure you get subscribed to windailysports.com. Use the code HEAT to get your special discount. And if you don't think you're getting a right discount, email me. Tony at WindailySports.com and I will give you a special deal just for you. Just for subscribing to Windaily Sports and listening to this pod. Everybody go have a fantastic day, fantastic night whenever you're listening to this pod and let's pick more players that are going to be spiking the pigskin in week two.